let's get started with, uh, with, with one guest that we have here. Uh, and that goes back to an event that several of our senior leaders attended to about a year ago. And at that time, they actually listened to, uh, at the time, Lucy Luckowitz, who is here with us. And Lucy, if you want to, you can already wander up here and join me. And so at the time, I think you were a senior in high school, right? Yes. And today, you are a freshman? In college, yes. Uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you're only starting tomorrow, but you're majoring in? Graphic design. OK, graphic design. All right, so anyway, so these folks listened to a poem uh, authored by Lucy. And uh, it must be a good poem because your mom is here today, too, and she wouldn't show up if she didn't think it was a good po poem, right, Margot? Okay, so anyway, the pressure's on. I was, you know, I was very, I was very um, um, uh, taken aback by the poem you wrote. I read it last night. I'll give you a couple of comments after you're done, but the show is yours, Lucy. Thank you. Can I sit? Okay, I'm just I remember when I was 13 years old, and I remember hearing about Eric Garner on the news. Police chokehold killed New York man, it said. They didn't really mention right away that he was an unarmed black man. I remember watching the video of it online. He kept saying, I can't breathe. I remember crying. Going upstairs into my bedroom with pink walls and sitting on my flowery bed and crying. I cried so hard. I cried so hard in my pretty bedroom, on my nice bed, in my white skin. I remember when I was 15 years old. And I remember coming to school on November 9th, 2016. I was so tired because I stayed up all night hoping he wouldn't win. I remember coming to school with messy hair and bags under my eyes, and kids were shouting MAGA at me because they knew I was upset. I remember crying. I cried so hard. I cried so hard in my private Catholic school with my computer in my backpack, in my white skin. I remember when I was 16 years old. I remember watching the news about a neo-Nazi protest in Charlottesville, Virginia. I didn't really realize that people who thought like that had such a huge following. I remember hearing our president blame both sides. I heard a, a kid at school ask why people were slamming white supremacists. I remember crying. I cried so hard. I was a wealthy white girl who went to a private school, but I was crying. I was crying. And now I feel like crying again. But I'm safe. I'm safe from prejudice, discrimination, racial profiling, white supremacists, the current administration, white feminism, making 63 cents for every dollar a white man makes, not having enough representation in the media, not having enough representation in the shades of concealer I want, racism, and the list goes on. But I cried so hard. And I look around at all of the strong people of color I've met in my life. And they are all standing tall and strong, despite what they've been through. And here I am, small, weak, and breaking in my white skin. <laughs> 